Welcome to 21 Alive News at 4. I'm Krista Miller. Thanks for joining us for your only local news at this hour. Linda Jackson has the afternoon off and we begin with your top four headlines at 4. Fort Wayne police say a chase ended when a man hit his mom with his car. Police say they tried to pull over a driver, Jawan Burley, at Creighton Avenue and South Clinton Street, but that he took off. They say he continued to Winter Street, where his mom lives, and gave an item to her. Then police say he got back in his car and hit his mom with his car. She's expected to be okay. We're told he got out of his car and tried to run off, but an officer shot at him and shot the suspect. An officer was also grazed by the suspect in his car. Everyone is expected to be okay. Burley faces several charges. His mother, Juanita Gray, is facing one charge of obstruction of justice. New Haven police arrested two people in connection with the 2016 double homicide. Gregory Robinson faces two counts of murder. Priya Witt, two counts of aiding in murder. In October of 2016, officers were called to a home on Hartzell Road in New Haven. They found Jamie Klein's body there. Soon after, police were called to a home on Fairfield Avenue in Fort Wayne, where they found Anton Moore's body. Both deaths were ruled a homicide. Police say new information led to the arrests they made today. More union members are striking. The United Auto Workers Union president announced today the union is expanding its strike to 38 GM and Stellantis part distribution plants. These plants supply car and truck parts to dealerships. The Fort Wayne GM assembly plant is not included in this strike. So what does it mean for you? 21 Alive reporter Taylor Williams will let us know her full story tonight at 5. In just a couple of hours, some of downtown's alleys will open up for this year's Art This Way, Art Crawl and Alley Bash. The event will feature live art making and music, a silent disco, a scavenger hunt and a 360 degree photo booth. All proceeds will go directly to funding more public art projects. Organizers with the Downtown Improvement District say they plan to continue to expand the artistic footprint within the city. I think people really enjoy just the, the storytelling element of what public art can bring to a community. Um, there's a lot of heritage behind it. There's a lot of different uh, diversities and backgrounds that we're able to kind of tie in, um, not just to the Fort Wayne history here, but just some of the different people that live in this area and continue to move to this area as well. The event begins at 6. Tickets are $10. You can buy them online or at the door.